Sustainability in telecom infrastructure is not just a buzzword, it's also paramount to networks of the future. Joining me to talk about this and much more is Rodian Nazurilan, the Chief Technology Officer for Telco Compute at HPE. Rodian, thank you for being with us today. Thank so you. tell us about this VRAN call that was a combination of HPE, Ericsson, and Intel. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's uh, one of the latest news. Um, we currently are we are the first company who started uh, run virtualization about five years ago, and it was a very bold vision that you can, in principle, virtualize a base station. So since then, we are taking uh, the third uh, generation of Intel technology into production, and that is a new SubRapids solution uh, integrated with VRun Boost for, uh, for Cloud Run. And that's uh, what we've made to work with our partner Ericsson uh, last year. So since then, that solution is fully productized and this year we are ready to take it uh, to a mass production scale. What role has HPE played in VRAN deployments? HPE is a provider of workload optimized, open, general purpose compute systems, which are underpinning open software uh, implementing Cloud Run underneath. So as such, we are providing dense compute system, we are providing openness, uh, and we are unlocking the benefits of cloudification in radio access network. Can you share your insights into HPE sustainability solutions? It's a great question. Um, I think till this year, it was more of a question if you can virtualize radio access. Now it's no longer a question, a question of if, it's a question how efficient you can be at it. So at this point in time, I think we are reaching uh, a parity in efficiency of uh, cloud run uh, comparing to traditional approaches. And from HP standpoint, we are taking this goal very seriously. So right now we are taking into production uh, this uh, ProLiant DL110 based solution, which is specifically optimized in power consumption to address both performance needs of cloud run as well as address power efficiency concerns of our operators. From HP standpoint, we are taking forward a few new concepts in the cloud run. So one of them is ability to cool uh, efficiently the systems at the very far edge, because these compute nodes are going into very challenging environments of far edge dense cabinets. It's very hot there. It's very hard to cool the silicon which you are deploying up there. So towards that goal, we partnered with, um, with uh, our partner company, Isotope, and we delivered the industry first fully self-contained liquid cooled solution for a virtualized base station at the far edge. How do these solutions reduce power in telco infrastructure? So the first fundamental principle of reducing power consumption is to uh, package the most power efficient silicon in a way which on one end addresses performance concerns of operators, on the other end, it fits their uh, energy footprint. And with that, we are working in a very close collaboration with our silicon partners, such as Intel, to package that silicon capabilities. So next uh, to that would be efficiency of cooling solution, because cooling is one of the domains which consumes a lot of watts by itself. So from there, we specifically optimized a design of uh, ProLiant DL110, in order to efficiently cool the solution, so it consumes as few watts as it can to, uh, while being deployed at base station site. But then in addition to that, we're innovating with partners such as Isotope to deliver a liquid-based cool solutions where we, um, where, um, we deliver a, a coolant in a precise manner to the hot spots of a server and then efficiently removing that heat and dissipating it to uh, outside environment and that reduces uh, power consumption in these challenging environments up to 30 to 40% is what we saw. So. Can you explain the isotope enclosure and its benefits? So together with isotope, we take the same ProLiant DL110 technology, same silicon footprint which we're delivering today, and we put it into fully ruggedized IP67 isolated environment where isotope solution delivers uh, coolant to the hotspot of the motherboard and removes the heat in an efficient manner, and uh, thus it can reduce power consumption in the uh, most challenging environments uh, of the far edge of the base station site by up to 30%. Um, 
Additional benefits is when, uh, since the enclosure is IP67 rated, it's fully isolated from uh, outside environment, from all the dust and uh, uh, contaminants in the air. So that way you can increase uh, reliability of the system and that addresses another of operator concerns of uh, production readiness of that solution. Rodian, thank you very much for being with me today. Thank you for having me, Clarence.